In today's string report video, we are reviewing the new Stealth 2 Rescue Clubs, both the Plus and the Standard. I've got Kevin Kraft with me today. He'll hit some shots on TrackMan. We'll review the products and tell you everything that you need to know. Golfers, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Give this video a like, and then you tell us in the comments what you think of the new Stealth 2 Rescue Clubs. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. We are at the Minnetonka Tour Van today. Kevin has flown in from Columbia to be here, so this is kind of a big deal. Um, stealth to Rescue Clubs. Yes. So, uh, new Rescue Clubs, I mean, the term rescue, I love the tailor made stuck with that, by the way. Yes. Um, they kind of came up with it, and it's it was a term coined for that type of hybrid club, yeah. and they stuck with it, and I think it's a really cool concept by them, but new models and I, I like that there's also two of them as well from Taylor. A, yes. a lot of the manufacturers do just kind of release one hybrid there's two of them here and they do serve pur different purposes yeah um the the, the plus has uh, a little more compact shape yeah give us the opportunity to adjust some lofts mm -hmm. designed a little bit more for uh, a more consistent player yeah um it's going to launch a little bit lower yeah. probably going to spin a little bit less for us right um whereas the the regular stealth too it's going to fit the masses yeah. a little higher launching a little mm -hmm. easier to get up in the air yeah so it just gives us a couple options for mm -hmm. whatever kind of individual right. comes in to see us. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and there's a lot of the trademark technologies in both of those hybrids. So uh, the C300 twist face, uh, you know, twist face been around, I think it was initially in the M3 and M4 drivers a few years ago. Yeah. And then they've kind of, they've worked it down into the hybrids. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, now they've got also the V-Steel Soul, I believe that's just on the standard one. Correct. I think. Um, but that's, I actually remember I had a V steel fairway wood mm -hmm. from the original, like the mid 2000s when yeah. those were back there. So to bring that it's back, see, fairway wood. Yeah, yeah. See, see that technology carry over for you know decades now is, sure. is really cool to see. Uh, so those technologies are going to power that plus the three slot speed pocket there for those low face strikes. You get a lot of, you know, ball speed gliding through that turf with that, that sole design. And then those low face strikes as well, going to maintain that consistent performance. Mm -hmm. So I imagine like, Previous models of tailor-made rescues have been pretty darn good in the fitting base. They have been, yes. So I would expect uh, the 2023 mm -hmm. model Stealth 2 going to be just as just yeah. as good, if not better. Yeah. And then we got to check two on the uh, loss. So the Stealth 2 uh, Plus. So that's that kind of player's model. It's yep. a 17, 19, and 21 degrees with that one. 19.5. 19.5. Yep. And then in the uh, standard model, you have 19, 22, 25, 28, and 31. Mm -hmm. So plenty of lofts for you to work with. Yes, in, and, and in that's good. Bay. Going into the going into the higher lofts is, is essential these days. You know, slower swing speeds. We can't get the trajectory out of an iron. Hybrid's gonna really help with that. Yep. Gives a little bit better launch condition and, and get a little better trajectory so we can get those gaps yep. just right. Exactly, exactly. So today we, we have a three and a four. Yeah, we, four we in the Stealth 2 and then three in the, uh, in the, in in the Plus. plus. Yeah. Perfect. Well, let's get some shots in, huh? Let's see what they do. Mr. Kraft. Yes, sir. You know the drill. Yes. Uh, look at a dress. Tell me what you see. I see a glossy club head. Yes, that is the first thing that I see as well. Yeah. Uh, last year it was matte finish. Yep. This year we got some glossy. So um, not much for performance characteristic in, in a glossy finish versus a matte finish. Right. Potentially a little bit of glare. Yeah. Other than that, there's there's no performance benefit yeah. to, to yeah. glossy versus. We'll say a, a new club head with the glossy finish, it's really cool. Really yeah. cool look. Yes, absolutely. I appreciate that. Sure. I'm wary of the sun on a nice day. <laughs> However, inside, we don't have to worry about that. No, we don't. We really don't. Um, golf club looks really good. I mean, it's it looks like a tailor-made hybrid. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be very popular. We're going to sell a lot of them. Yeah. Um, I'm expecting it's going to feel really good because last year's felt really good. Um, yeah, I think the best thing we can do, we got a new shaft this year. We got uh, Ventus TR. Mm -hmm. So this one's a rag. Yep. Normally a stiff flex kind of guy, but uh, we'll make do here. Yeah. And uh, let's see what this thing does. Yeah. I, my four hybrid that's in my bag is about a 210, 215 carry. Okay. This one's a degree weaker. So 
let's see what we get ball okay. speed wise and, yeah. and how that measures out compared to what I'm, I'm used to seeing. Yep. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Felt fantastic. Yeah. Yep. Really good. And you're getting, I mean, plenty of launch and height on that too. Yeah. 124 feet. Look, when we're hitting hybrids, just like we're hitting any club that's coming into the greens, yep. we want enough trajectory for the ball to stop. Yep. So I get a lot of people in that they say, oh yeah, I, I hit the ball really high. And the conversation goes something like, yeah, you, you hit it high-ish. I want more, yeah. right? I want more trajectory, especially yeah. on a club that's coming into the greens. Yep. For hybrid, yeah, you, you might hit it off the tee some, but primarily this thing's gonna be coming up off the deck. Mm -hmm. And coming into the greens, we gotta be able to make the ball yep. stop. So yep. seeing 124 feet in the air, I don't consider that excessive height. No, I like no. that. Landing mm -hmm. angle at 48.7. This is what we want. If yeah. that's where I'm at with a seven iron, that's where we should be with a four hybrid. Right. And if we're not creating that with a four iron, that right there is a great indicator of why we want to go to that four yep. hybrid. Mm -hmm. yeah. I imagine that conversation is a very popular one for you in the fitting bay. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, a little more ball speed there. Well, that one was hit pretty good. So okay. spin went up a little yep. bit on that one. Yep, sure did. See, that one was interesting. Is that, was that maybe low face? A little low off the face. Okay, yep. I thought so. Yep. Because um, it definitely hit the screen a little bit lower yes. than the other ones, but. Look at, look at, <laughs> trajectory was a little lower. Yeah. But guess what? Spin came up some, right? But it didn't jump way up. Yeah. Which is, again, exactly what we want, and that's exactly what these clubs are designed yep, to do. Yep, that's what the through slot speed pocket there Absolutely. is designed to do, maintain, a little bit low face. Maintain yep. the ball speed. Spin didn't jump through the I roof. Know. Look at, I mean, the, you lost a whole two yards. Two yards. Two. Yeah. Massive. I mean, you, you yeah. can't be, you're not going to get away with that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's, I mean, you're going to be totally in fine shape with that shot. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, I mean, look, golf club feels good. Ball speed's awesome. Yeah. Uh, creates really good trajectory. We don't need to see any more. It's a winner. No, no. I'm no. not, not going to hit it much better. All right. Well, let's, let's do this. Grab the grab the plus. Okay. Let's put those both down so you can maybe compare them in terms of what they look like. Because okay. I imagine that's going to be pretty different. Yeah. So uh, definitely more compact, not yep. only in the length of the head, but also in the width of the head. Mm -hmm. So definitely going to create some, should create some different characteristics, yeah, yeah. you know, launch characteristics. Um, from a visual, the... It's a little interesting on the on the plus. Um, the paint job kind of hides yeah. what I believe is a carbon fiber crown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it. A lot of companies are just really in your face with the carbon fiber, right. and this is kind of like maybe a little little heavier paint job. Mm -hmm. um, so you notice it. There's there's definitely a pattern to the head. Uh, personally. Uh, I'm not offended at all by the look of the the regular stealth. Yeah. I probably like overall the the look of the the plus just a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but you know, if if this one performed better for me, I would have no problem going right. to this. Yeah. I mean, they're they're you could tell that they're siblings, right? Yeah, I mean, oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You can tell. Yep. Um, I think there's maybe one hitting the gym a little bit more than the other, but I think <laughs> that that's correct. Yeah, yeah. But I think they. <laughs> And then the, you'll, well, hope, well, we should see on the numbers, you know, that, that plus. Yeah. Maybe a little bit lower launching, perhaps. We're definitely going to see that because this one's got. Oh, that's right. The, lo the loft is a little two and bit a half, yeah, yeah. Uh, Two and a half degrees so stronger. probably loft, take off so, a little bit on you, too. So there is that. So this one, this one could potentially rival my two hybrid, which I've got actually cranked down to, to about 16 degrees. Okay. Uh, if that one's going, you know, 215. I would expect to see this maybe closer to 230, okay. which is around what I expect with my two hybrid. So, gotcha. Yeah. Well, that felt great. I feel like that sound was a lot uh, more quiet, I think. Yeah. It, it sounded yeah. like not a little as loud. A little tiny bit more muted, yes. Yeah. Another good one. Okay, we're seeing that mm -hmm. I was just seeing that anti-left kind of bias that yeah. you know the 
some of the better players are going to appreciate the shape on this. Mm -hmm. um, if there's been a, a criticism of hybrids through the years, it's been that tendency to want to turn over. Yeah. That one didn't feel, the Stealth 2 didn't feel like it was really trying to turn yeah. over. Definitely a little easier to turn over. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. you know. Also, just want to point out the carry numbers in those. Oh, huh. consistency. Yeah. This uh, one wants to go right on me, and I'm okay with that. I'd rather see it hang just a little bit than than yeah. turn over too much. Well, it's, I think it's it's this is good for the viewers to see, though. I mean, sure, absolutely. Because I think you're right that I think I, that's honestly one of the reasons I don't play a hybrid is because I'm concerned about that that snappy hooky going mm -hmm. left and not being able to control it. And yeah. so to see this three shots that have the same trajectory over and over going a little bit right is actually probably encouraging for a lot of people watching this. Yeah, and the, the great thing is here too, with the adjustable hosel, yeah. if I need to get that thing squaring up just a little bit, all I gotta do is throw this on the upright setting, change the lie angle a little yeah. bit, and we should see some shock shape yeah. action there. So, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's... Technology is such yeah. a wonderful Isn't it? thing. Isn't it? It is. Oh, that one got some extra speed. Yes, okay, and I got it a little straighter, all right. Dude, and it went the same distance. The speed, How about the, that? The, the carry distances so far are outrageously consistent. <laughs> yes, 0. 0.2. Look at it, 230.0, 230.1, 230.5, 230.5. I mean, that's, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's, uh, that's outrageous. She not going to do it. Nope. Okay. Hmm. I have a right bias yeah, <laughs> yeah. in my hands here. I can tell you're a player that doesn't like to see that. So you're trying to mentally cope with that a little bit. But Oh, look at that one. I just absolutely destroyed all that good work I did on those first four swings. Oh, well. Eh. That's okay. Yeah, I kind of did like it better when it was just these. Yeah, I just, but, I just left face open too much. You know, the spin rate came up a little bit. That's good, Trajectory though. I mean, clearly, came up a little bit. And like, like I mentioned at the beginning, there's a distinction between the two, a very clear one. Yes, and there is. The fact that they can release two rescues and differentiate them like that, I think is it's notable because you see yeah. a lot of the manufacturers only have one. Sure. And so to see it do two different things like that, I think yeah. is very encouraging. And it's great for, for the player that comes in and isn't sure which way to go. Well, guess what? This 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 right yeah. here is a good example of of what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. So they'll get get that same experience. So, Mr. Kraft, we have completed testing Stealth Two Rescue Clubs, the Plus and the Standard. Yes. Um, well, what were your thoughts? I mean, let's let's kind of summarize what we tested there, and then we'll kind of maybe ask or kind of discuss the players that are for. Okay. Um, these golf clubs did exactly what I expected them to do. Yeah. And as we've discussed in the past, that is awesome. That yeah. is exactly what we're looking for. So, um, you know, Stealth 2, a little easier to turn over. Mm -hmm. uh, trajectory was really pretty similar, yeah. which, which is great. Little, obviously this was a three hybrid, this was a four. We got a little more ball speed here. Yeah. Yeah. So ball yeah. speed helps create trajectory. Okay. Um, the two, uh, the two plus definitely had more of a center to right side bias. Yes. So yes. for that that player that's maybe not sure about hybrids or yeah. has to be talked into it, but is afraid to see that yeah. ball turning over too much, we've got that option. Right. We can get that in their bag yep. and uh, and right. you know, get get them that help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, and we should also talk about the adjustability. That is there on the plus, which is love that. which is nice. Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, like you mentioned, you know, you would probably make a little bit of a tweak based on the shots you hit. Yes. And be able to straighten that thing out. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, the, the hosel's great. We have a degree and a half of adjustment up or down. Yeah. Uh, we have the upright setting. We need yeah. help bringing it around. It's great when you've got a hybrid that doesn't want to go left and that you can trust. And maybe if we have to make a little little draw yeah. bias adjustment just to get it to go yeah, where we want it to go. kind of commit to that swing and yeah, know 100%. it's not gonna duck hook left on you. No matter what we're talking yeah. about, we want to be able to commit to right. it. Right. Yeah. So let's differentiate the two. Okay. Uh, the, the standard model, Stealth 2. Mm -hmm. uh, what type of player most likely would fit into that one? So the average guy, the average yeah. golfer, the yeah. weekend warrior. Yeah. Um, the better player. Yeah. Uh, anybody can play this. Yeah. 
technically anybody can play this too. Yeah. But what this is really designed for, uh, it is designed to be a little bit easier to square up. It is designed to, to help get up in the air a little, sure. little bit faster, a um, little bit bigger footprint, a little longer uh, blade length, yeah. head length, a yeah. uh, little bit wider. So maybe it looks a little bit more encouraging to those, mm -hmm. you know, that are that are replacing a four iron. Yeah. You know, they want to have that golf club that that looks like it's going to be really forgiving. Maybe they got a long par three over water. You know, they don't want to look down at that that bladed mm -hmm. iron and, and something like this is, mm -hmm. is going to give them that confidence. Right. Right. And then um, the, uh, the, the the plus then probably the player may be looking for a lower spin, lower launch, yes. more workability. Yeah, uh, it is designed technically for a little bit better player. Um, going to be a little bit more workable, obviously not as easy to turn over mm -hmm. as we saw. Oh yeah. Um, and somebody that can, that maybe wants to have something dialed in just to absolute perfection. I right. love adjustability. Yeah, I know. I know as a fitter, yeah. that's, I mean, you're just geeking over that. I'm Absolutely. Sure. But, uh, golfers, stealth two rescue clubs, both the standard and the plus get fit at second swing with someone like Kevin. They'll take care of you, get it dialed in. And uh, a very important part of the bag, irons to, to fairy woods, need something in there to Absolutely. bridge that gap. These yeah. are those clubs. So schedule that fitting. And uh, Kevin, thank you for joining. Great stuff today. My pleasure. Thanks.